Hello, this is a tutorial on 11.4b1. Uh, these will be uh, making changes to the measures of central tendency. This is page one. So, first of all, we just have to find the mean, median, mode, range, and standard deviation for each set. All right, so uh, for the mean, we're just going to add these all up. So, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, that would make 15. Uh, that would make 23, uh, 23 and 12, so I have 35, and I'm just going to double check that. This would make 8, sorry, 6, 12, this would be 20, 23, 35. All right, so the mean of that is going to be, we're going to take the mean, we're going to take 35, we're going to divide it by the number of scores, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 35 divided by 7 is 5. So the mean or the average score is 5. The median, I need to put them in order from least to greatest, or greatest to least, either one. But 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then we've got 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, and then an 8. Uh, and so for this one here, we just kind of hack off the things. We're looking for the middle number. So there's our, our median. Our mode is going to be the most popular number, uh, which is also 6 because there's 3 of them. And then the range will be the high minus the low. So the high is 8 minus 2, so the range is 6. Basic review. Now, the next question. The 8 is dropped from the data set. Okay, so this score here. If we were to get rid of that score, how would this impact the measures of central tendency above? Well, if they drop a number that's higher than the mean, the mean will go down. So the mean is going to decrease. Um, we can think about the median as well. Now the median, when we take this this score out and we redo this, I'll do it in purple or something here. Do this, we do this, we do this, we do this, we would do well, we've got these two left. And so our median this time is going to change. So the median is going to become well, it would become 5. Uh, it's going to go down. The median will always shift when you take out one score. It may not change. It may not change because if you think about this, you know, if we were to take this top number out, this was our little data set the median is still going to be 6, even though it's still shifted this way. So we can't, the median is always going to shift, it may not change. In this case, it did change. Um, the mode is not going to change. No change. And the range, the range is not really a measure of central tendency, um, uh, because it really, range is telling how numbers group around and some people call it one some people don't but in this case it's on the sheet so the range is definitely going to change so the, the the range is now going to be 6 minus 2 so the range is going to range is going to go down as well so we'll work through these examples i think they are very good they help you think about what happens when you add or delete a score? Um, and you know the most common thing in you know class is let's say that um, you know you've got a B plus on a test, and there's uh, still two people to take the test, uh, and and they're grading this test on some sort of a curve. Well, the curve means they 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 judge the they 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 range the they score the test based upon the performance of the class. I hate to say it, but you're going to want those two people to do poorly on the test because it's going to make your score look better. Um, and it's going to bring the 
the average score down, which will make your score look stronger. Okay, thanks for listening.